everybody. Got another journal. And it is a long one and it measures nine and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I did this one in a brown and it um, has a whole bunch of crochet doilies and different fabrics, little tchotchkes and a button. Just a whole bunch of different fabrics with a ladies having tea and I put some lace in the background. This is a nice thick fabric. Nice thick. I stained it up a little bit. And going inside. It's a grunge. It's a grungy, grungy, grungy. On the inside cover, I put some more fabrics and different co uh, creams and beiges and browns with a pretty image. And on the inside, this back is all stained. I coffee stained it. And um, I put one of these cards in there. This comes off. Piece of sorry silk. So that you can use this also. And got the back. And it's got a nice big card inside. I'm not going to make y'all watch me tie that up. And then one of the Tim Holtz cards. And I just put some washi tape and a little stamp on there. And then I lined the back. Over here, some more different fabrics and a button, and it's got script stamping, water stains, um, some real faint images on it, and I stitched it in black. Another stamped image. Love the staining on this. Came out really nice. All the edges are jagged. Pretty image there. Piece of ephemera. It's got some real pretty images. This folds out got a gazebo stamp there and again the edges that's the stitching from the other side and pretty image over here is a gauze pocket that I inked up and stained and that's the stitching from the other side and a little bitty thread let's get rid of him some stamping and it's got several cards. And then I put this little card in there. And a nice handsome gentleman. Another tuck spot, a tuck spot here. Look at how that came out. So pretty. And two cards. And some ephemera. A lot of stitching going on. A lot of irregular stitching. I put some long fabrics here and a button. And some flowers stamped in there. I just love the jagged edges. I just think that's so cool. Or gazebo stamp there. And pocket here. That's the stitching from the other side and some stamping. And a tag. Oh, two tags. I'll keep one. And the snippets, which are just different pieces of paper. Pretty images. Look how thick her hair is. Beautiful. And I left all the strings. I think that really adds to a grunge journal. Is just the leaving the strings. Another gauze pocket here that's been inked up and stained. And a pretty card. Another tag. And then a little mini card. This is just here for pretty. It's not a tuck spot or anything. And this, this folds out. It's got a piece of muslin here and some gauze. And it just folds out for extra writing. A picture of a bookstore. A 
lots of nice images. I think this is one of my favorites. Little image there. The irregular pages. Another pretty images. Good buddy. Love this. Look at this bicycle, y'all. Isn't that a hoot? Got a little wheel there and a tiny, tiny wheel there. Cracks me up. You know she's got to be uncomfortable. <laughs> this folds over. Again, that's, that's muslin. And then some gauze. Bunch of different fabrics here and some fuzzy, fuzzy fuzzies. Another gauze pocket with a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. Little birdie up here. Little pretty image. I think they call these cabinet cards. I'm not sure. Big pocket here with some kids looking in a cho candy store, chocolate store. And then it's got... Um, Two cards. Piece of ephemera. <laughs> Sammy Joe says hello, everybody. <laughs> Another little pretty image. Bunch of different fabrics here and a little stamp with some little mini fabrics. Ephemera. There's another tuck spot. The two cards. That's one of the Tim Holtz people. So cute. Another pocket here. With a a card that's faintly script stamped. And then one of these wacky flowers I like to make sometimes. Maybe that's what I'll put on my embellishment list to make some more of those. I've got a whole bunch of new yarns. More fabrics and a button. And that's the stitching from the other side. This lifts up. I think I missed. Hold on. Yeah. No. Okay. I knew I had one over here, too, that folds over. And this one lifts up. Another pretty image. There's the back with some stitching. With a, a pretty lady here and a bunch of different fabrics and a button. And then the coffee stain. Look at that staining. Love it. And then I put one of these nice long cards in. I like to write on it like that and then come and do that page and write like that instead of writing all the way across. Just makes it different. And then I put a postcard in there. And there's the back again. Kind of a stiff fabric. I like it. It's very thick. And there's the front again kind of different. I don't think I've ever done a brown journal before. And uh, well, thank y'all for being here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Sammy will probably see you too because I'm sure she'll have to bark. Bye-bye everybody.